Hello and welcome to this video on the new exclusive engineering option with NTA Portal for the multi-user engineering functionality. My name is John Hill. I'm one of the Siemens product specialists for e &M, your West Coast Siemens distributor. Uh, in previous videos we talked about the local project server and the project server and the differences and how to set those up. And I'm going to actually show you uh, going on to a project server on another machine uh, which is my P under my PG server here and the options that we get when we do that. So we come in here, manage servers, select the server. We see we got the PG server there. I'm going to go ahead and select this one and open it. And you see there it says no valid key license found. License not found. So what does that mean? So that means that we cannot go onto another server, uh, another project server on another machine uh, without having client licenses. Uh, well, how do we get around that? So what we can do is we can actually go in there and create a new session. And here's where it gives us the exclusive engineering option versus multi-user. When we went into that first one where it was labeled LS for local session, now that was actually a multi-user engineering type of setup. Uh, you can see here when exclusive engineering is selected, uh, the project name is actually going to come up with an underscore ES for exclusive engineering. So if we go ahead and click on that, uh, it will come and open that project up on our machine now. Uh, the local session was actually created on the other machine, which is the other reason we couldn't get into that. Uh, but once we have the project exclusive engineering session open, that actually locks the project on the project server so that no one else will be able to get into that project while we are working on it. Uh, this is something that Siemens added with V16, the exclusive engineering option, uh, to allow you to have some functionality even when you don't have client licenses at your disposal. It's a good way to uh, be able to have a project server on a actual server machine, let's say, within your organization. And you see here that I have got things added in here. Uh, so I could go in and I could make programming changes or let's go ahead and add a new device just to kind of see what happens. We'll go ahead and add another comfort panel into this project just for example purposes. And once that comes up, we're going to go ahead and add it to our network quick. And then I'll show you some of the things that you see. In my previous video on the local project server, you saw a little bit of how the flagging worked uh, with the flags popping up next to the changes that I was making. Uh, things are a little different when we're on the exclusive engineering. Uh, we don't actually see the, the flags coming up quite the same way. And so here, you see we have our second one added and there's no flags showing up next to these. Uh, if we come in and let's just say we open up the project and let's just add a little logic in here and see what that does for us. Uh, so we're just going to quick add uh, contact in a coil I will make this I0.0 .0. and come over here and make this Q0.0. .0. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, and just accept the default tag names that it created for us. Now you see here we do actually get some flagging showing up, but we don't with that other HMI that showed up. Uh, so we come up here and we've got this yellow icon with a lock symbol. That's what's telling us that we're in an exclusive engineering session and that project is locked. Uh, we can apply the changes. Uh, changes during yes session. And we're going to go ahead and exit our exclusive engineering session. Now once that's done saving to the server, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into the administration panel and 
and show you what happened after using that exclusive engineering. Oh, here's our pop-up for security. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in uh, like I'm the user of the other machine. And here's that project that we were looking at before. Uh, so we come in here and we see changes during ES session. Uh, sometimes when you're coming in here and you'll see this, you will actually see uh, a project being locked uh, sometimes. So you can actually come in here and lock and unlock items with this administration after you've used an exclusive engineering session. Uh, especially if someone else needs to get into that, uh, that can all be managed through the administration panel. Uh, this has been the functionality of exclusive engineering. Uh, again, a new feature in version 16. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, if you have other Siemens questions, feel free to look at our channel for some other helpful videos or contact your local E&M distributor and they will put you in touch with uh, one of the Siemens product specialists. Thank you.